Let's check in with Court. Although I must say, I do prefer a good apple as opposed to a peach. I'm always an, an apple person. I like apples quite a bit as well. I don't, I'd probably prefer them over peaches, although peaches do sound very good. And on a hot day like today, a peach is going to sound absolutely fantastic, or at least a warmer day like today, I should say, because getting a look at what we're tracking for you early on this morning, temperatures on the rise back to around average today with sunshine, the heat peaking Thursday. So the hottest temperatures of this week are expected for tomorrow, and then we'll see a little bit of a dip Friday and Saturday as a cooler system rides through the north. Mild heat for that final weekend of August. Checking in with what I'm tracking for you early on this morning, a live look outside from the Sundial Bridge in Redding. You can see clear skies over the bridge in Redding early on today. Shasta County is going to see plenty of sunshine, as is the entirety of Northern California. Right now, we dipped into the upper 60s, mid to upper 60s, I should say, for most of the valley. We did 68 degrees right now for Redding as well as Corning and Oroville, 66 for Chico and 69 in Red Bluff. Temperatures in the 60s for the most part in the foothills, 67 degrees in Paradise, and we're in the 40s to low 50s in our mountain zones to start the day. So not too brisk, but it's cool enough to maybe warrant a very light extra layer on your way out the door. You won't need it very long. We're going to be heating up quickly today. Wind out of the northeast up to around six miles an hour right now. Throughout the day, we'll see winds mostly out of the west towards the afternoon, not very strong. And then tomorrow, as a cooler system rides into the Pacific Northwest, that drives up our south winds, gusts potentially up to 25 miles an hour out of the south by tomorrow afternoon. Clearing skies overnight into this morning and your hyper local look at the satellite and radar and it's going to be a sunny one out there today as high pressure continues to build in. So warm, dry and sunny conditions on tap for the middle of your work week. Cooler systems being really just diverted to the north as the high pressure is built in. But as you take a look off the coast, this next cooler system, that's what's going to provide a bit of cooling late this week into early this weekend. So Friday into Saturday time frame, that's where we're seeing that next slide in temperatures heading your way, but it's not going to be substantially cooler, just comfortable for our region. Satellite and radar to future cast showing you sunshine across the board for us at 8 a.m. We'll have more sunshine at noon. A few patchy clouds tracking north across our higher elevations towards the afternoon, but it's sunshine in the valley. So make sure you've got the sunglasses handy and sunscreen if you're planning on taking advantage of conditions this afternoon. A sunny start to your Thursday morning as well. The chance for some active weather though, mainly in our higher elevations closest to the Oregon border and coast tomorrow afternoon as that next cooler system rides closer to the coast. That's not going to do much to divert our high temperatures tomorrow, but we do cool down a bit with sunshine on Friday. Saturday sunny as well with those temperatures staying around if not below average, then a little toastier on Sunday, but then a little cooler than Sunday on Monday. So it's a roller coaster, but it's a Fairly mild one as we head through your forecast. 80s for the most part in the northern mountains today. Sunny and warmer for your afternoon. 70s to mid 80s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades. Foothills in the upper 70s to upper 80s this afternoon. 87 in Paradise, 85 for Megalia, 86 for Forest Ranch. In the valley today, it's mid 90s, 94 degrees in Redding, 95 for Red Bluff. That's just below average for this time of year, but Chico hitting the average at 94 degrees as is Orville this afternoon, 95 projected for Willows. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast for your weekends always in view. Tomorrow does mark the peak of this week's heat. 97 degrees projected for Chico under sunny skies. Back down to the lower 90s Friday, mid 90s Saturday, mid to upper 90s Sunday and Monday. And and cooling into the lower 90s Tuesday of next week with lows in the 60s. Redding upper 90s Thursday flirting with the century mark, but low to mid 90s Friday and Saturday, mid to upper 90s Sunday and Monday, and then low to mid 90s on Tuesday. So Kelly, this is a little bit of a roller coaster, but at the very least, we're not seeing triple digit heat for that last weekend of August.